Hey guys, what's up? It's Monkle Zonky. So welcome to another video. Today we're going to be going over Demon Slain. And why am I going to be going over Demon Slain, you may ask? Well, the thing is there's quite a few items in the game that will actually help you out quite a bit while slaying demons. And it's probably best not to go your traditional standard method of killing demons. Even if you're not on a Slayer task and you just want to kill them for XP or for some other reason, killing Abyssal Demons, Black Demons, Greater Demons, whatever you want to kill, these are some really nice boosts that can help at least with the lower tier demons unfortunately they're not going to be helpful on things like calgarians because their defense is just too high and i'll go into why that is an issue in a second but it is kind of interesting how there's several different items in the game that can really help you out against demons give you bonus damage help you kill them faster and i'll be going over those with you here the first weapon that receives a really, really nice boost is Dark Light, and this is a really easy weapon to obtain. All you need to do is the Shadow of a Storm quest, which doesn't have a whole lot of requirements. And oh my, if you're planning on meleeing demons, I would highly recommend this one. It is great for your Abyssal Demon task and your Black Demon task if you choose to melee. First of all, the Dark Light gets a huge accuracy boost, so you should be able to hit them. Although one thing that I have found out is I do have to use extreme attacks as well as turmoil to be able to hit every single time. So if you have a lower attack level, or if you don't have access to stuff like that, do you might struggle a little bit with the accuracy of Dark Light. So just make sure that you're boosting your attack up as much as you can. So why is Dark Light so good? It gets double damage. The damage is doubled against most type of demons. Unfortunately, it does not work against the Zami boss, and it does not work against Calgarian demons. But pretty much everything else in the game that is a demon, this does work against, and you are going to be hitting some crazy high numbers, especially because that double damage stacks with any other boost that you may have, such as Turmoil, for example, or any other boosting prayers or potions. So you're just going to be doing some insane damage, and it's always fun to Zerk and then be able to one-hit some of these demons with just your basic abilities, which is something that's always nice. And of course, you don't have to repair it, so if you want to save charges on your Drygores, you can use the Dark Light instead. It is completely free to use, and it's even better damage than a main hand Drygore. The next item, or should I say items, that can be of some help is the Demon Slayer equipment. There's five pieces of Demon Slayer armor, as well as a crossbow, offhand, and main hand. I wouldn't really recommend using those, though, because they're only tier 60, so your damage will be quite low if you use them. But what the Demon Slayer equipment does is it gives you a 4% damage boost per piece of armor wear. So if you wear the full set of the five pieces of armor, that's 20% extra damage versus demons, and also it grants an XP bonus, 1% extra combat XP per piece worn. So if you're wearing all five pieces, 5% extra combat XP. Unfortunately, this armor is range based, so this means you can really only use it with range, even though you can technically use it with melee and magic and get that same boost. Since it's range armor, your accuracy is gonna be really, really low if you do decide to do that. So it's only viable to use with range. But one reason why this is really great is for people that don't have the boost to make the Dark Light a viable option for accuracy, you can wear the Demon Slayer equipment. Or if you just want to train your range on Black Demons, you'll be able to kill them faster and get more range XP wearing the armor. So it is very, very useful, and I'd recommend trying it out if you do a lot of these tasks and you decide to range them or just think that it might be a good idea. This last bonus against demons is Abyssal Bane Ammo, and unfortunately the requirements for this are pretty high. You do have to complete the Ritual of the Majorat quest in order to make this stuff, so this isn't going to be something that everyone can do. However, the nice thing about Abyssal Bane Ammo is it is ranged, and it does grant a ton of bonus damage against demons. It's pretty much a 25% bonus damage multiplier that stacks with everything, so it stacks with your overloads or your extreme ranges or your turmoil, it stacks with everything. It also stacks with the Demon Slayer armor. So if you wear this in conjunction with the Demon Slayer armor, you can do crazy damage on Abyssal Demons with range. So if you don't want to use the Dark Light, or if you want to gain range XP instead, because using the Abyssal Bane ammo with your tier 90 range weapons is pretty much comparable to using a Dark Light with melee, and it's very, very fast kills. So if you want to try it out for range XP, unfortunately it does take some time to make, and you do have to have an Abyssal Head as well, which is a fairly rare drop from Abyssal Demons. Demon, but it is a really cool way of killing abyssal demons if you do decide to do that because most of us probably aren't used to seeing range hit this high so it is nice to get those really high numbers and also since abyssal demons can be a little bit spread out it's always nice to be able to kill them at long range without having to run around the room like you typically would with melee as the name implies, you can only use Abyssal Bane Bolts with the Abyssal Demons, of course, so you're not going to be able to use these on the Black Demons, but if you do decide to make them and go through the process of making them, of course, you're not going to use very many of them over a period of time because as you use your abilities, 
you're not going to be using up ammo. So after you make a couple thousand of them, that's going to last you pretty much as long as you want it to last you. And also one thing that's interesting to note with the Abyssal Bane ammo is it stacks with your main hand crossbow. And what that means is for your offhand slot, you don't need the Abyssal Bane because your entire damage is going to be boosted as long as you're shooting it with your main hand. So one thing that I like to do and you can do as well is I equipped Death Lotus Darts in my offhand, which is a tier 85. So you're going to be getting the damage of that tier 85 and it's also getting the damage boost of the 25% extra damage from the Abyssal Bane ammo, even though you're not shooting bolts in your offhand. I know it's confusing. It didn't really make a whole lot of sense to me too, but basically what that means overall is you can do a ton of damage to Abyssal Demons and kill them really, really fast with range. So I'm probably going to be sticking with the Dark Light myself or using the Mage tactic of killing Abyssal Demons, but this is one extremely viable option probably for those people that are looking to train range on Slayer instead of melee or magic. So anyway, that's about all for this video. Make sure to buy yourself some Demon Slayer armor if you are looking to range some of these tasks or to use the Dark Light if you melee to save yourself some Drago Charges and also get the task done faster. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys with tomorrow's video. Tomorrow, of course, and farewell.